Shalom! This is Ephraim Bookwold getting ready for Purim. Thursday is the Fast of Esther, and Purim will be celebrated this Saturday night and Sunday. So, who's the great hero of the story of Purim? Well, I guess we could say it's God. Or maybe it's Mordecai. Of course, who's the great heroine of the story of Purim? I guess that's Esther. But Esther almost didn't make it. You know the story of Purim. Haman convinced the king to eliminate all the Jews in his empire because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him. He offered him 10,000 talents of silver to the royal treasury. The decree went out that all the Jews were going to be murdered on the 13th of Adar. Mordecai learns of the decree and he dresses in sackcloth and ashes and he comes to the gate of the palace. And Esther hears that Mordecai is dressed in this mourning fashion. But it's interesting. She doesn't ask or send the message to Mordecai to find out why. She just sends a message. Mordecai, take these clothes and get dressed and stop embarrassing us. Everybody knows that we're related. And she panics. She panics not because of the decree, but because of the embarrassment. Mordecai refuses. Esther sends an emissary again to find out why Mordecai is doing this. He tells her that she better stand up for her people and that she has to go to King Ahasuerus and plead for mercy for the Jewish people. Esther sends back some sort of a lame excuse. She says, everybody knows that you can't just walk in on the king. You can't just barge in. If I'm lucky, he'll extend the royal scepter to me. But if not, I'm dead meat. And you know, I haven't been called to see Ahasuerus in 30 days, so I'm about to be called any day now. Mordecai sends back a message and says, My dearest niece Esther, don't think just because you are the queen, you are going to escape the destiny of all the Jews. Because if you don't stand up at this time and speak out on behalf of your people, you and your entire family will be lost. And who knows if the only reason that you became queen was to intervene at this moment. And you blew it. Well, I guess that struck a resonant chord in her consciousness. And she says, okay, I'll go in. Fast for me for three days. She does. Eventually, she's able to counteract the decree of Haman and it is nullified. The Jews are able to defend themselves. And we have the great festival of Purim. But the truth of the matter is that we Jews sometimes hesitate. We panic for the wrong reasons. We're not ready to stand up when our people need us. And that's what Purim should remind us. Our Jews are faced with anti-Semitism, violent hatred of Israel, questions about Jewish survival and Jewish education, we need to stand up to be counted. Because who knows if the only reason that we were put on the face of the earth was to make that difference. And Purim should remind us to make that difference. Happy Purim!